We've known the essence of what's in the essence standard for 50 years. So how can it possibly make anyone better at anything today? In this short video blog, I want to try to answer this question, which I received from one of my viewers of last week's video blog. Let me start with a brief story about how I believe essence makes me a better coach. I use essence and other traditional frameworks when I help practitioners as a coach. Uh, and, and while it may surprise some, uh, there are similarities between essence and many of these other traditional frameworks, such as many of them don't dictate specific practices, just like essence. And you can summarize the essence of many of the traditional uh, uh, frameworks in about 50 goals, whereas with essence, uh, you can summarize the essence in about 49 cards. But now I want to talk to you about a key difference. To extract the essence of many of these traditional frameworks often requires you to wade through 600 page books. And to apply these frameworks effectively often requires extensive training. Most of them were written with the process professionals in mind. Essence, on the other hand, is packaged much smaller. And its checklists are worded in a way to fa that facilitates conversation and team communication. It was written with the practitioners and on-the-job coaches in mind. Now, this is an example of an actual conversation I had with one of my clients. The client started by saying, let me explain the problem we have. Our two key customers use our system differently. Immediately as I hear this, I start to think of two key alphas in my head, stakeholders, software system. Then the client continues. Often when we get focused on changes for one, we break critical functionality for the other. In my head as I hear this, I'm thinking, ah, down inside the software system alpha, a couple of key checklists, system functionality tested, defect levels acceptable. My client doesn't even know that I'm using Essence, but I've got it in my head and I'm using it to guide the conversation. That's why I call it stealth mode. What I want you to take away from this is because of the way Essence is packaged, its size and the way it's structured, it's easy to keep in your head and then use it to guide a conversation, helping a client or a teammate find the best solution for themselves given their situation. Now let me give you an example related to last week's video blog on how Essence makes practitioners better estimators for a lifetime. In the cartoon, we see a common situation where one teammate uh, asks another teammate, says, Mary, why is your estimate so much larger than mine? Then the response, I'm not sure, John, did you remember to include the time it usually takes you to fix all those bugs you usually insert? Notice also the checklist item as a reminder, rework under control. The point here is that the essence checklists can act as a reminder to a common situation that happens that we've known about for 50 years. Now, some of you may be thinking, do I really need all these fundamental checklists? And the answer is yes. Human beings are notorious for forgetting the fundamentals. And this is a common way how software projects get into trouble. But please understand, there is nothing magical or new about the information on these checklists. Essence doesn't know how many defects you make or how long it takes you to fix them, but you do. And the checklists can help you stimulate your own thinking 
so that you can make better decisions given your own situation. As always, feedback is encouraged. Thank you.